Do we live in a universe of many? And are parallel dimensions possibly part of our everyday reality? Scientists have now discovered the first evidence of a parallel universe, and this could further imply that our reality is very different from what we previously assumed. In a multiverse of possibilities, times and worlds can merge, and we may even create worlds ourselves with our decisions and thoughts. The possible existence of parallel worlds and times is as much a concern for science as it is for Hollywood. In Coherence, Nothing is Coincidence, a group of friends experience strange things while a comet flies past the Earth. The comet's influences open the gates to a perception of other realities, and the people gathered are presented with this in a rather blatant way. They have to realize that they also exist in other worlds and times at the same time. They try to get to the bottom of the mystery and are horrified to discover that the dimensional jumps are a normal part of their everyday lives, of which they are normally unaware. In the quantum world, this is exactly what happens. Experiments that demonstrate these fascinating phenomena are familiar to almost everyone today. Schrodinger's cat and Wigner's friend are two of these thought experiments that seem absurd and yet are based on real findings from quantum mechanics. Both experiments show that our decisions may carry us into countless parallel worlds and that reality is not as clearly defined as we think. Another highly acclaimed film that crosses the boundaries between documentary and entertainment was 2007's Parallel Worlds, Parallel Lives by Mark Everett, son of Hugh Everett III, the legendary quantum physicist to whom we owe the many worlds interpretation of reality. Rupert Everett's Countless Dimensions Would you believe me if I told you that all conceivable variations of your life exist in an extra universe? For Hugh Everett III, these findings were inevitable in the course of the 1950s. His own experiments and then latest research in the field of quantum mechanics led the thinker to propose his many worlds interpretation in 1957. Everett's explanation of reality brought together some of the most famous paradoxes and some of the ambiguities of quantum mechanics. Everett's theory offered a radically different view of how the seemingly crazy events at the quantum level can be interpreted. The many worlds interpretation assumes that all possible alternative histories and futures are real and exist simultaneously in a vast multiverse of worlds. Everett's concept was thus in contrast to the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum systems. Here, researchers assume that although several possibilities exist in quantum space, only one of these variants ever becomes reality. We decide which one through our measurements, so also through expectations, moods, feelings, and decisions. In the many worlds theory, measurement by the observer does not take place in the classical sense. Instead, in every quantum mechanical interaction, every possible variant is realized in its own world, which means that there must be countless parallel worlds within a multiverse. If we look at the idea in everyday life, it could look like this. You wake up in the morning because your alarm clock goes off. You are faced with the decision to sleep for another five minutes or get up immediately. In the world we live in, this decision seems trivial, but in the many worlds theory, it leads to two distinctly different universes. In universe A, you get up immediately and this decision causes you to start your day a little earlier, which triggers a chain of events. Leaving the house earlier can lead you to getting to work before a traffic jam starts, getting there in time for an important meeting and still having a chance to convince your boss of your idea. This chain of events could have a positive impact on your career. In Universe B, you sleep for another five minutes, drive into a traffic jam and arrive a few minutes late for the meeting. Your competitor has already taken the floor and presented her idea before yours. Because your boss now also has a negative impression of your late arrival, this has far-reaching consequences for your career. Here, it becomes clear that sleeping for five minutes can create a completely different world with completely different life events. If this assumption is correct, every single, everyday decision would have a drastic impact on our lives. Now let's look again at the differences between Everett's model and the Copenhagen interpretation. Everett believes that you exist in universe A and B at the same time without realizing it. The Copenhagen interpretation of quantum reality, on the other hand, would come to the conclusion that the reality that you consciously experience is realized, while the others remain as undefined potentials in quantum space. The question of how likely it is that each of our decisions leads to the formation of another universe, 
or whether branch-offs only occur at key moments, remains open to this day. So much for the parallel worlds of quantum mechanics. Another exciting question remains, namely, where these parallel worlds are and whether we can be aware of them. You and I live in parallel worlds. An interesting fact that affects millions of people time and again is the Mandela Effect. It's often used to support the possibility that the entire population of this world occasionally travels in other dimensions or that two or more worlds exist side by side. You can bet that you yourself are affected by at least one of these perceptual phenomena. The name Mandela Effect comes from a worldwide phenomenon in which large parts of the population believe that Nelson Mandela had died in prison in the 1980s. In fact, Mandela was released and even became the president of South Africa before his death in 2013. It's astonishing how certain thousands or millions of people believe that Mandela was dead. In their reality, the news of Mandela's death as former president loomed like a specter. They wondered how it could be that Mandela had died when he had actually been dead since the 1980s. There are now hundreds of examples of the Mandela effect around the world and they seem to be growing all the time. Other examples that are sure to affect you include the Star Wars character C-3PO, the state of New Zealand, and the Monopoly game. Millions of Star Wars fans remember that the droid C-3PO was completely golden. In fact, C-3PO has always had a silver leg, which surprised many fans when it was pointed out to them. The location of New Zealand is also exciting. Where would you spontaneously say this island is located? South or north of Australia? Some people remember that New Zealand is northeast of Australia, when in fact, it is southeast. This geographical information is so widespread that it has also led to the assumption that New Zealand is possibly north of Australia in another world. You probably know the Monopoly figure with the monocle. The only difference is that Uncle Penny Farthing doesn't have a monocle. Nevertheless, millions of fans of the game are sure that they have seen game packs with a black, penny-pinching figure with a monocle in their childhood. We now leave the world of perceptual phenomena and theoretical quantum experiments and look at what tangible evidence there is for the multiverse. The proof multiple universes are possible. While it seems incredible that every decision we make catapults us into parallel worlds, astrophysics has long proven that other universes can exist. Researchers have now found clear evidence of this in the cosmos. These other universes do not necessarily have to be parallel worlds. The multiverse can give rise to many different universes. Some may have completely different conditions than the universe we call home. For example, Universes that were created and exist one after the other and side by side are possible. Researchers were able to prove that the Big Bang could theoretically have created several universes and the British researcher, Sir Roger Penrose, presented a coherent paper according to which our universe is cyclical and originated from a precursor universe. Penrose based his work on the study of the cosmic microwave background. The cosmic microwave background is the oldest electromagnetic radiation, which is said to have originated shortly after the Big Bang. It is therefore considered to be a primordial matrix of the universe that can still be observed today. Penrose and his team found concentric circles in the matrix that can be interpreted as mathematical evidence of a previous universe. These circles could originate from black holes from an earlier universe. The James Webb Space Telescope has recently found mysterious black holes that are so old that they must have existed before the Big Bang. This could be the first visible proof of Penrose's theory. The possibility of a Big Bang forming several universes was also deduced from the cosmic microwave background. Again, it was specific patterns that served as computational proof. Astrophysicist Laura Mersini Houghton is a renowned expert in the field of theoretical physics and multiverse research. As a professor at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, she has published several papers that show evidence of other dimensions and universes in the structure of the cosmos. Mersini Houghton believes that our universe cannot exist in isolation, but is part of a much larger multiverse, an immeasurable collection of universes that exist next to, on top of, or inside each other. These universes are not merely passive neighbors, but interact with each other, 
Some dimensions and worlds can be located within ours and possibly influence us without us even realizing it. Mersini Hotman also relies on certain anomalies within the cosmic microwave background. As evidence, she cited the so-called dark flux. This is a previously unexplained, coherent movement of galaxy clusters that has been repeatedly interpreted as a possible signature of the gravitational forces of other universes. The same researcher also came up with the selection principle in the multiverse. Simply put, the idea says that our universe, with all its physical constraints and laws of nature, was selected to produce life like us. There are theories that build on this and say that our cosmos was created especially for us humans and that we may even be co-creating protagonists. That's a fascinating idea. Although Laura Mersini Houghton's theories are based on solid theoretical calculations and are supported by the interpretation of real cosmological data, they remain, like the other theories on parallel worlds, pure speculation. On the whole, the real measurable evidence for the existence of other universes is increasing. It almost seems as if a new insight and a new worldview are slowly emerging. Even in the voids, the largest empty spaces in the universe, researchers have only recently found evidence of a collision between our universe and another. Treacherous spots provided evidence of a cosmic scar tissue created by the collision. Become a subscriber right now and keep up with all the new videos.